How you guys doing? My name is Christopher Polonese, and here um, I'm going ahead and I'm engaging in a let's play of this game. Um, this game is called Crackpots. It was produced by Dan Kitchen. Um, Activision actually took over this game and went ahead and published it in 1983. And one of the things that I do find cool about this game is that A, it was Dan Kitchen's first game. So for a first game, kudos to him. He did great. Second off, this game was actually so popular that um, 15 years later in 1998, PlayStation picked it up and they went ahead and kind of released this game called Activision Classics. And it kind of, as the name suggests, you know, highlights all of these classic games that um, Atari kind of had or, and that was created by like different companies. And also four years later for the PS2, um, there was another one. I think it was Activision something. I cannot remember it off the top of my head. Um, I think it was actually Activision Anthropology. There we go. And this was in 2002 that the game was released. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you kind of already saw it in the beginning, but um, I'll go ahead and power on the Atari. And this is how the game looks. Um, basically, the objective of the game is to make sure that with, you know, oops, what's going on here? Okay. The objective of the game is just to make sure that well it's probably better off to just play it instead of showing it to you so here we go um basically i think it's f11 to start the game so yeah you move around and then as you kind of play um you got to kill these spiders and you know these spiders if they crawl into the building um what would be like what they do is they'll actually kind of eat the building I don't know why they call them spiders. I feel like <laughs> they're more so termites because I don't think spiders have the ability to, you know, eat up a building. But, um, yeah, this is that kind of name of the game. I'm using these pots to kill these spiders. And, you know, I just want to make sure that they do not enter these black spots, which are windows. Um, it's a pretty simple game. Um, I do find it very fun. I mean, it gets addicting very, very quickly. And that is one of the things that I do enjoy about this game. Um, there's actually a lot that I enjoy about this game, but as you can see, you know, the spiders, as it progresses, they kind of change path, they move a little faster, um, it gets more difficult to keep up with, but, okay, let's get into what I like. So, what I do enjoy about this game, there is some skill to it. Um, it's not a game where you kind of can just sit there and spam pots, because A, the pots fall very slowly, and B, when you click a pot, you know, you kind of stay stationary in place. So, it's not one of those things where, you know, repeated, um button clicks or whatnot can oh and here you know so because enough spiders went into the windows i didn't kill enough of them the building gets um shorter but yeah it's not one of those games where i can just kind of sit and spam the pots falling down i can't do that because a the pots fall slowly and b you know every time i hit a pot i kind of stay stationary so i have to take into account you know where i'm shooting um what spiders i'm killing um i kind of have to predict where the spiders are going to go it's, it's very engrossing and there is a level of skill to this game so um i do applaud dan kitchen for kind of taking this into consideration i'm sure like you know in a arcade kind of fun level you don't really notice these things but for a serious gamer like myself i can appreciate this um also the controls you know they're pretty tight i mean it's easy to see where i'm going every button press you know is predictable i know where the pots are falling um as you know with playing this game i do see that it is kind of more you know oh look i did bad this round it is kind of more smart to stay in the middle because the spiders kind of alternate a and b it's kind of easier to predict than kind of you know time where the pots are going to fall yeah there is, there is a lot of things to say about this game that i do enjoy but um one thing that i will say i do not like is kind of that disadvantaged state that you're in so um, for example, let's take an older game like Pac-Man. You know, Pac-Man, if you lose a life, you kind of respawn, but nothing kind of happens to your field. Um, in fact, you just pick up where you left off. Um, if you have a little bit more pellets to eat, you eat the pellets and you advance to the next level. However, in this game, if you don't kill enough spiders, the building gets smaller and then you resume. So not only are you not killing enough spiders, but you're also progressing in levels. So you can see that as I'm going on, you know, these spiders, it kind of gets harder. So they're moving quicker, um, they're switching paths. It's almost as if, you know, no matter if you win or lose or if, you know, the building gets shorter, you're still kind of put in this disadvantaged state of where are these spiders going, how many do I have to kill? And it can get very, you know, tedious in terms of trying to keep track of it and, you know, just predict where it's going. So yeah, I feel like 
as I'm losing, I'm being punished for it because the game is getting progressively harder. That's one thing that I will say I don't like about this game. But then again, there is another thing to say that I do like. I mean, with this, it does force you to consider the fact that there is some skill in this game. I mean, this is the final level because you can see how short the building is. And yeah, it's it, it gets harder. The spiders are moving at the same speed. Um, the pots, you know, they fall down at the same speed. So you're not covering as much ground. Like, it gets more difficult as, you know, you kill off spider. But all in all, that's pretty small to say in terms of um, what I don't like about the game. For its time, for what it was doing, it was very, very, very advanced. And I feel like Dan Kitchen did a great job in kind of, you know, making a game that's crazy addicting, that kind of challenges skill and, you know, is enjoyable. But with that being said, my name is Christopher Polonese. This was a Let's Play of the game Crackpots. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to do more for you guys in the future.